Hello folks and welcome. Zorin OS 17.2 Core, the latest version from Zorin. 17.2 was released um, September of 2024, I think about within the last two weeks. Uh, so today's date is September 28th is when I'm filming. And I'm filming in the X11 environment due to the fact that my simple screen recorder does not work in Wayland. And uh, more importantly, this uh, video is geared toward uh, new users. And I'm going to talk about uh, a spin-off from the Zorin appearance. It's called Interface and Taskbar, or Panel Bar, as it also is known. So again, this is geared uh, toward new users. So welcome. Crater Lake, Oregon, USA. Took this photo about three or four years ago. I have a subscription key in the corner if you'd like to subscribe. 450 plus videos. I have comments turned off due to some Google support issues. You can read more details about that in my community tab if you care. All my videos currently are keyword searchable and also I do have some playlists on those 450 plus videos on all kinds of tips and tricks. So on my previous video for Zorin 17.2 had to do with themes. This is a new feature with 17.2 which is how to install third party themes and I made some important um, notes also for you if you decided to install that, especially concerning cursors. And that procedure depends on which desktop environment you're actually logged into. So you may want to check out that video. Today I'm going to talk about interface. And then um, this left super key, the super key on your keyboard is also known as a start key. Some people call it a windows key and I'm going to press it right now. That's what that does. And if you want this effect here, this 3D looking effect, I'm just taking my mouse, clicking it and twirling to have a little fun with this. Um, you'll need this effect turned on. If you don't have that turned on, this will not work the way I just demonstrated that a couple seconds ago. Okay. So, but let's say you don't want it to do this effect. I'm pressing that super key. And you want it to open up the Zorin menu, just like some other Linux distros or desktops. Well, then we can change that just doing that. Now that opens this way. If you still want that 3D effect thing or look at multiple windows, you can certainly just click this. And you can still perform that. Hitting the escape key. Now I'm going to talk about taskbar settings, but only a basic ones. Again, this video is made for basically new users. You can right click and taskbar settings also. I'm going to only talk about one section and that's position. So in the position, uh, when you install 17.2, you will get your panel on the bottom. If you want it on the top, click that. It's very simple to do. And if you choose left or right zones, uh, you will lose a little bit of real estate in here and some orientations of different things. I'm going back to the bottom. If you want the panel length, which goes from side to side on your screen to be a little bit shorter to give it that dock look, then slide that. Now you can see trees on both sides. Okay, just remember you'll lose a little bit of real estate in here. You can go 90%, that might look a little bit better. There are other options in here, folks, but I just wanted to talk about the very basic ones today. And again, I do have other videos. Thank you for watching.